Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of September general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Scorpio, when I was meditating on you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Sexual Seduction by Snoop Dogg. I'll leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow the reading if you so choose to. Now, let's start off with the fact that Snoop Dogg happens to be a Libra. So some of you guys can be dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus in a visual, specifically Libra Sun. And if you are dealing with someone who has strong Libra placements in their chart, please look at the Libra reading because you guys did show up a couple times in their reading also. Now, again, the key word, seduction. Like somebody's trying to seduce you. And when I was shuffling, I seen at the very back, you have the devil. So somebody wants you to come do the hokey pokey with them in the nude. You understand me? I'm really getting a very strong energy of like, it's a very strong sexual connection. This person is definitely lusting after you. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, specifically Sun sign when I get the Major Arcana. But I do feel like this is someone who's very passionate about you. I, I'm not sure if I'm getting so much like wanting some type of relationship, but I'm definitely getting strong sexual energy here. At the very bottom of the deck, you got the Ace of Cups. So it could be emotional. Like there could be some strong emotional and sexual chemistry between you and this person. This could be, if you're single, this could definitely be a newer individual. Okay, because Aces are always brand new stars. But whatever the case, it does seem like there's a lot of passion connected to this. Also, this person may be a weed smoker or you may be a weed smoker. I'm saying that because Snoop Dogg is like well known for being a weed smoker. So, and this is no judgment against it. I'm just telling you what I'm getting there also. Also, you know, when you smoke, you get the clouds of, and bellows of, um, you know, smoke right there. It's like this could be steamy. I'm just getting steamy. Like the connection between you and this individual could be very steamy and passionate. Okay. So we're going to go through the deck as always and get you guys Major Arcana, which happens to be the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after and we'll get clarifiers for both for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Okay. So let's go through the deck. Currently at the bottom, you have the Hermit. So this is someone who's seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. This is also someone who is spiritually enlightened. Somebody could be currently on a very spiritual path. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting also. What do you call that? Um... Ooh, some of you guys could be looking into, um, what is that? Oh my God. And see, I just heard Bikram, Bikram yoga, like that hot sign of yoga. And I know that doesn't have anything to do with sex, but I'm, I just heard that. So some of you guys could be interested in some type of spiritual practice, but what do you call that sex? Tantric. Some of you guys could be into tantric sex or you and your partner may want to try this, or you may need to try this to kind of build a stronger connection. Because in the beginning, you did have the Ace of Cups. That's a, Cups is always about the emotions and feelings, right? So some of you all could be trying to build a connection with you and your partner very, you know, as far as sexuality. So it's not just something that's just so physical. It's something you're wanting to have a very emotional connection with your person also. And you guys could be thinking about tantric sex. Who is that? I think his name was, um, not, is it Sting? It's a singer. I feel like it's Sting. If you guys know, leave it in the comment section below. But it's a singer. He's a rock um, singer. And he was saying how him and his wife actually went to some type of retreat or something like that. And they did the tantric sex. And he was saying like they they were intimate for like over 11 hours or something like that. It was something like that. And I'm bringing that up more so for the fact because like I said, this chemistry seems very steamy, very passionate. Where it's like you and this person can't get enough of each other physically. But then somebody may be questioning, okay, does this have a future more than that? I'm getting this especially connected to new relationships. Now, if you are already in something that already has some structure and roots to it, like you've been in this relationship for a while, then I'm, I am getting like, think outside of the box sexually because I feel like a spiritual connection needs to be tied into it. Like, cause it's like seeking spirituality. And then right up under that, you have the King of Swords. So some of you guys can be done with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, this is Virgo energy. There could have definitely been a change in your relationship status with or your sexual health with you and your person in Virgo season, which we are currently in right now also. Okay. So again, we are going to go through the deck and get your major arcana, which is the death card. And we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and the visuals. Yeah, I'm keep, and I keep hearing the song Sexual Seduction. It's a real calm, chill, laid back type of vibe. So, some, you know, there could be one of those things where it's like some people, somebody may want to get high and have sex. 
to see how that, you know, how that feels. I'm getting something where it definitely has to do with your sex life. Again, if you are single, I feel like when you meet this person, that's exactly the vibe this person is going to be on. Or this is what they're about. Okay. And I feel like this has been for a while. So some of you guys, you do have history because we're almost towards the end of the day. For some of you all, you already have history with this person. You've been with this person for some years and now you're ready to change things up so it won't get old or feel stagnant. And then for others, if you're single, you may have felt like you've been single for a long time. And it's like now you're getting ready to meet somebody very soon. And this is going to be the vibe that they, they're on. So you have the Six of Pentacles and right behind it, you have the Page of Wands and then the Four of Wands. Absolutely. And then right in the very back, you have the Lover. So yeah, that's why I said you guys have new love coming in for those of you who are single. I'm going to say again, with this energy, with the Six of Pentacles, that's typically like being breadcrumbed or needing to balance something out. I feel like someone feels like, okay, we need to try something new because it's just kind of the same. You see how they're balanced out? Like, Let's put out, throw out some ideas about what it is we can do to bring some, add some value, add some flair to our love relationship. I'm getting that. And then, again, I'm going to say some of you guys definitely have someone new coming in. Paige is always something new, a birthing of some, a new situation. And he has, on the tip of his wand, again, a more phallic and sexual energy. There's like a little gleam to it. So I do feel like somebody's trying to seduce you. <laughs> a new person is definitely trying to seduce you. It's like... The energy, I'm getting, because you have fire, that's passion. Somebody's energy is so passionate that it's like, it's, ooh, okay, so I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm getting here also. You see how he's in between two different birds? This person may try to talk you into, keyword seduction from the song, sexual seduction. This person may be trying to talk you into having a threesome. Because I'm also saying right here, if you notice these hands, they're going a different direction, so it's two different people. So someone may be trying to talk you into having a threesome to see if you're open to it. Just being honest, tell me what I'm getting. And then for others, it's like somebody is trying to get you to see things in a different way when it comes to like trying things new. And it doesn't just have to be like a threesome, but it could just be like this person's like, let's try something new. Let's do something different. Because especially if you're married, things can be feeling stagnant or boring or very routine. Because earth energy could be very routine because it's stable. It's very rooted. So somebody could be trying to do something different outside of the normal, especially when it comes to intimacy. Again, I'm going to say, because I always do for both people in relationships and single people. Again, if you're single, it looks like the person that you would be meeting, this is may, that may be how they're seeing things. Like they, they, they may be trying to try you to see what you're up to or how you are sexually before they actually commit. Like they don't, they don't want a boring sex life at all. They're like, nope, I won't do it. Bottom of the deck, you have the judgment card. <laughs> yeah, this is their judgment card. Like somebody is trying to see how far they can push the limits with you sexually. I'm really getting that. And this is your energy also. That's part of the deck. So you have the nine of cups. Absolutely. So like I said, somebody's wishing, what their wish is to be fulfilled sexually. They may have some type of kinks or some type of desires that they haven't told anyone about. Because if you notice, he's, he's sitting in front of that curtain, but you can't see what's behind the curtain. So somebody has some fetishes or some kinks or some type of interest that they want to um embark upon sexually but they they haven't spoken about it this could be you because it is cups unless you're dealing with a fellow water sign cancer pisces or another scorpio like yourself and you did have a nine of cups we are in the ninth month so it does look like um this be something that happened this month where someone is wanting to you know try something new or they want to tell, they want to bring something up, but they're holding it back because they feel like you may reject it. I'm definitely, remember I was saying a third party, you had three cups built over. Somebody definitely wants to experience like, yeah, somebody definitely wants to experience some type of third party situation. Like a threesome, he's looking down at three cups. You got three of swords in reverse. Like somebody wants to possibly have some type of sexual situation. Yeah, you got three of th three of swords here. You have the nine of pentacles, but behind her, there's three. Somebody definitely wants to bring another person into the bedroom, even if it's just for the experience that one time. Somebody wants that. Because keep in mind, with the nine of cups that we just seen, the blue curtain was behind them. Like some, it's like somebody wants to do something behind the scenes, behind closed doors, and they're scared to tell you about it, or you may not know that this is something that they're into. Bottom of the deck, yeah. See, I'm going to say again, you got a couple here and then there's a third party watching on. Like somebody, or this could also be, I'm getting a lot of sexual stuff, I'm going to be honest with you. Somebody may want to watch, you know, somebody, you may be, you or your person may be interested in watching others be intimate. 
And I know you don't want this just to be all about sex, but I'm telling you, that's just why I'm getting here very strong. So let's get a clarifier for the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. <clears throat> okay. So you got the world card in reverse. This one cycle ending, another cycle beginning, but this also could be saying like, I'm not ready to try something new. I like the comforts of it being exactly the way that it is. And again, that goes back to that earthy energy. Like somebody likes the same routine type of sex, but I feel like another person is bored with it. Um, the world card connects with the energy of Taurus again, which is a fixed sign. Leo, fixed sign, Aquarius, fixed sign, and Scorpio, fixed sign. You guys are fixed signs. So somebody is like, uh, they're not very comfortable with some type of change. Because with the world card, it's always change associated. And that's a major arcana, so that's a definite energy there. So it's, it's just, I'm getting that. Somebody may have some kinks or some type of. And it always gets a connotation as being a dirty word. But no, somebody has some type of sexual preference, but they're not sharing it because they feel like they'll be judged. Again, if you're single, you may be coming into contact with somebody who has certain sexual desires and you're not, that's that's not where you're going. You're not feeling that, which means you may not be ready to move forward with this person. Because the world talks about travel distance for a movement. You have it in reverse. Again, that's a major arcana, so it's definite. So to have it in reverse is like, yeah, I, I'm not feeling that. I'm, that's not the way I'm going to go. I can't, I can't rock with that. Bottom of the deck, you have the seven of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. So again, upright. This is like not moving forward, but not moving back. But in reverse, it's like definitely not going anywhere. Like it's just not. I'm a, Again, I'm going to say I feel like someone feels like their sex life may be stagnant. Because if you look even up right, he's looking at the dead leaves. You know what I mean? Like, and, and that earthy energy did, is very rooted. So it's like you could be with someone for so long that it just could feel like things are just drying out. Like those dead leaves there. And somebody wants more passion. Let's get a clarifier for the Page of Wands for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Okay. Almost flipped out. Okay. Again, you keep getting the same card. So, yeah. With the Six of Pentacles, <clears throat> and then right upon it, you got the same card. That's what I'm saying. Somebody wants something new, and that came right up under here. Somebody wants something new in their love life, and then somebody is just perfectly content with, oh, okay. I'm getting also that somebody's libido may not be as high as their partner's. Because this is breadcrumb, which means somebody may not may feel like they're not having enough sex or they're not their partnership does not display enough intimacy. They're only getting just enough to scratch the itch, if you will. Again, if you are single, you may be coming into contact with somebody who has a very high libido and your libido is not as high as theirs or vice versa. Whatever the case is, is to get that page of wands twice is definitely giving me the vibe of like sexual. Yeah, somebody's not happy or fulfilled because upright the cup is filled so much so that it's overflowing and reverse. Someone is not fulfilled sexually. Now, if you're single, that's why you could be feeling unfulfilled sexually because you may not have like a friend with benefits or a situation ship or something like that. You could just be like literally like not having sex at all. I'm definitely getting, and this is crazy because none of these cards are like specifically saying that, but that's why I'm picking up intuitively. You or a person's first middle last initial could be M, W, T, J, C, U, or H. First middle last initial of you or a love interest or a love interest that's coming in. Will of fortune in reverse. So yeah, unfortunately, because the opposite of fortune is misfortune and unfortunately, unfortunately, somebody is not feeling the direction because the world could talk about directions the direction somebody's trying to take the relationship in especially when it comes to your sex life again if you are single it could be unfortunate because you could feel like okay where is my person because scorpios are very passionate people my mars is in scorpio mars is your plan of action and also your sexual you know, like your very sexual primitive urges so i understand that nature so scorpionic energy is like you guys love passion you need passion you can't just be intimate with someone you need passion and it could possibly be that you haven't experienced that in a fulfilling way just yet either in a current relationship or when a new person comes in it just seems like there's something that could be a little off in regards to, to the sexual component of the relationship because if you just look at these cards all together you literally have a six of pentacles twice look at that six of pentacles you six of pentacles again Six plus six is 12. <laughs> you guys are going to hate this, but I'm telling you what I'm getting. Six plus six is 12. Of the 12, one plus two is three. Somebody wants to add another party. If you look at him, he's right in between two birds. So it could be a male figure who wants to be intimate with two females or two feminine energies. 
I'm telling you right now what I'm getting. Because even right here, you got him in between two birds. And then right here, you have him, three people there. You know what I mean? Somebody wants, somebody wants, even if it's just to experience it once, somebody wants to experience it. I'm not giving judgment. I'm not giving opinion. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up here. Literally, you got the six, six, and both are coming across you. I'm also getting that someone could be a personal or life path number six as well. And someone could be six years older than a love interest. Either they're six years older than you or you're six years older than them. I'm getting that also. Okay? So, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and the Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.